Today I have an exciting upload. We are going to be doing a Manny Swap video with the Polish Queen herself, Clarice. She will be doing five designs from my channel and I will be doing five designs on from her channel. We will be recreating these designs for you. So please go and visit her channel. She's an awesome nail artist and she has tons of ideas for short nails, long nails, weddings, proms. So remember to check out her channel and give her likes on all of her videos. Let's get into it. We're going to start off by applying a base coat to all our nails. And the first design is this lace design. I will be posting a link to the videos where I got these designs from her channel, so give them a visit. She does this design with a silver hollow base, but I don't have a silver hollow base, and the silver I have I don't think is going to look very good with my white. So what I did was I got a nude colour by OPI, I think that one's um, Coaling Island something. Anyways, it's a nude background, it's lovely for French, so I decided to use that one for the lace manicure. And what I'm doing is I'm going in and adding a circle and another circle in the middle, leaving a space in between and then doing like a sort of like a pinwheel design and then half circles on the outside and then filling it in where it is needed. It's a quite a simple design. I loved how hers turned out. So I thought I'd give this one a try myself. The pattern mainly evolves around having half circles and then doing some floral design around these half circles. Just follow the pattern, it's quite simple to do and it looks really really good by the end of it. Now I know in her design she does two of the round lace um, designs but I started doing this round design I ended up doing it way too big so I didn't have space to do the other one so I decided I was just going to do the one design on the nail with the lacy bit on top. And that's it, apply a top coat to that and that's done. This is a side by side of hers and mine and I think they both turned out really great and it was so much fun to do. Next design is an autumn inspired nail art. I chose three colors by OPI in red, orange and yellow and a base of white and then started drawing in the leaves. She does them all in more or less the same size and I don't know why I started doing them in different sizes but I think I did like two or three in each color and sort of varied the sizes to fit as many as I could on the white base. And basically what I'm, I think mine turned out a little bit more like maple leaves rather than actual leaves. I don't know why, but anyways, that's how my design went and it was extremely fun to create and I absolutely love this look for autumn. Once I finished in adding all the leaves in the different colours that I needed, I went in with a black nail polish and did some detailing of the little veins in between the leaves. Remember to apply a top coat to that and here it is, a side by side of hers and mine. I love how this one turned out. 
Now this design, I totally fell in love with it the moment I saw it, her recreate this uh, from a Nail Trends video of hers and I absolutely loved it. So I decided I wanted to do it. It has a white base as well. Uh, funnily enough, I four of the nail designs I chose have white bases and but I went with it because I absolutely love the designs that I chose. So I go in with two different blues to recreate this porcelain china, you know those plates, the porcelain chinas with the white and blue designs on them and I think it looked absolutely beautiful. So I went in and recreated the flower with lights and darks and then went back in with a finer brush and did some detailing around the, the flower. If you haven't already, then please hit that subscribe button down below. Another little reminder to also visit her channel and subscribe to her because she has tons of ideas twice a week for you. So totally subscribe to her channel as well. There it is, top coated, seal in that design and our side by side. There it is. And I think I did it in mirror image to hers. Oh, well, never mind. Our next design on the list is this short leopard print or animal print on a white base. Absolutely loved it. I loved the use of the pink on top of the white base. I thought that was really, really creative. And she did it on a short nail design. And I really, really wanted to look at how it would look on a long nail. looking for a quick and easy design this is totally the one you should go for and once finished top coated and here is our side by side together I think they're really really similar I mean very very simple design but super super effective the next one on the list is an abstract sun and I and she again did it on her short nails video and I said well I'm gonna do it on my pinky because that's the shortest nail I have and let's see how it turns out this is the only design that has a different colored base and it's a black base but we are going in to make some details in white first so that we can add the color on top of it and really make that color pop. I've gone in with the same colors I chose for the autumn leaves, the red, the orange and the yellow and done sort of like a gradient going up from the sun to the outer dots. Remember to add that top coat and we are done with this design. Here's a side-by-side -side shot of hers and mine. And that is it for this Manny Swap. Here's a picture of all the designs put together from chosen from her channel. I absolutely loved how these turn out and I think I'm gonna actually use some of these as an actual nail art to have on my hands because they're absolutely gorgeous. There were so many designs I could have chosen, but I, I literally I was spoiled for choice. She's an amazing nail artist. Be sure to check out her channel, The Polish Queen, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!